Hello, welcome to another mini tutorial from UPVC Space for Repairs. Today we're going to try to describe and show all the different types of gaskets that we have available in each separate group of gaskets that we stock. So we have four sets of gaskets and the first set that we're going to show you are our range of Q-Lon gaskets plus two of the rubber gaskets in black which seem to be the most popular and the aim of the exercise is to also describe to you which are the critical dimensions that you need to look at or alternatively better still purchase one of our sample packs and then you can actually try the gasket to be sure that you purchase the correct one first time. The three gaskets that we've got that are replicated in both the black and the white are on the Culon range. So if you'll just zoom in and let's just get the ends of the gaskets. Right, from that you can see that we've got two that are fairly similar and one that's definitely completely different. So I'll just sketch out on here what we've got so that you've got a better idea what you're looking for initially. So first gasket on there has that shape. Second gasket has that shape and the third gasket which is the completely different one as that shape each of these are designed to clip into the relevant profile that you have on your window or door and usually the telltale dimensions are between here and here. So those are the critical dimensions. And then as the door closes or the window closes, it comes down and compresses the gasket. And because it's a Culon gasket, which is a coated foam, all the little bubbles inside the foam allow the whole thing to compress. You just want to zoom in once more for me. You can see how that compresses. And the same with this one, that way up, sorry. That compresses like that. So usually we would always advise, try before you buy. Take the sample pack and that will set you off on the right road. The final two gaskets that are in this particular sample pack are actually black rubber gaskets. The sample pack that you would be looking to purchase would be our part number 2163. And the last two gaskets are black rubber. The first one is a flipper gasket. I'll draw a brief sketch as best as I can so that's that gasket, has a little upstand, comes across and then from here it has two legs with a shape between it. Now the critical dimensions on this one again are here and here which is the gap that's left in the profile for it to slip into. Sometimes the gasket leg doesn't stay in the groove because every single profile has got different sized grooves. So you can't just think that one will fit all. That's why the sample pack is always worth trying. And then in the same pack, we've got the most common 
bubble gasket, which simply is a bubble with And again, critical dimension there. So with the sample pack, you should be able to try them in before you buy. The part number you need for this order is 3183. And if we just zoom in here, this is what's sent out with every pack. It's got the dimensions on and that clearly shows you what you're going to purchase. Here are the six gaskets and you can see from the ends, if we just zoom in once more, that you've got a selection of flipper and bubble type gaskets. A bit difficult to see I'm sure but uh, once you get the pack in your hand you just need to take a little bit out of the window or door and then try it in. We've put together a set of samples in our pack number 2268. Now this wedge gasket um, is designed to go on the inside of the property and it's designed to fit onto windows that are glazed and beaded from the outside of the house. So what happens is you insert the glass into the frame, you place the beading in the groove around the outside of the house and then you push the glass back towards the beading which should already have a gasket on it and then insert the wedge gasket down the back of the glass on the inside of the house. Now it's important that you've pushed it far enough and identified the gap that you need to fill because if you get a gasket that's too thin it will push straight through behind the frame or a gasket that's too thick if pushed too hard can crack the glass. So it's very important to try the gaskets out before you buy. It's worth mentioning that if you are experiencing problems with the gasket that you currently have, i.e. it's dropping out, then clearly you need a thicker gasket so it fits in a wee bit tighter. So on our range, we have got all the sizes on the paperwork that comes out with the gasket and if you just want to zoom in there you can see thickest gasket is the purple um, line then we've got other gaskets like the brown the green the gray and the cream so it's better again once more reiterating to buy that sample pack and try it in This video is focusing on what we call the fir tree gaskets which are designed to go into your outer frame before the glass is inserted and they are designed to cushion the glass against the window frame. We'll show you the details just in a moment. We always recommend when purchasing this type of gasket to use one of our sample packs. Simply, the idea is we send out that list. Should we just zoom in? And that list holds all the different sizes and they're color coded, as you can see red, blue, green, yellow, and white. So once you receive the sample pack of gaskets, each one of them has corresponding colours on. This allows you to be able to test them or try before you buy. That concept is working extremely well with our business at the moment 
and customers are happy that they don't waste money and have to return goods that they discover will not fit. So always try before you buy. And uh, just to mention on the fir tree gasket, it does actually look like half a fir tree, but the critical dimensions are the gap between the back of the glass and the actual frame where the gasket fits into. So this gasket would normally fit into the outer frame, something like that, in that position. Can you zoom in on that? This one on this particular sample isn't a fir tree. This is a, a gasket that's already been extruded with the UPVC, but that's the location that it goes into. And you can see on this side that there is a wee slot for it to be offered into. So if you're replacing any gaskets, it goes into that slot. So the critical dimension is making sure that this dimension here is correct for it going into the slot where it's supposed to be accepted. But also you need to know that you've got adequate compression and that is the distance from here back to there and that works out how you compress it against the glass if it's too slack it's very likely that you'll get a lot more capillary attraction and therefore you'll get more water ingress so it's important to uh, just check on that that's why the sample pack is the best thing to buy